up. And I want to take you through what's going in the news. Today I sent Alex behind the camera here a video of Venezuelans collecting wastewater, essentially sewer water for household use. Of course, it's been a total blackout, total darkness for multiple days. There's been intermittent periods of the power coming back on and then going back off again. And this is pressure that the United States is obviously putting on the Maduro government to overthrow a rightful sovereign leader, much like they did with Muammar Gaddafi. Obama was responsible for this. This is what Libya Gate was all about. Of course, we also saw this with Saddam Hussein in Iraq. He was eventually hung. And uh, we've seen this with other wars in Yemen, of which men, women, and children are still suffering today and being murdered on a regular basis, but we see no humanitarian aid given in these parts of the world. So it's interesting that the United States is focusing so much on Venezuela, putting so much darn pressure on this government, and the question we need to ask is why? Well, the reason I think most of you could surmise is the United States does not want a country so close in North America on our border almost that is Russian influenced. This is why, of course, we saw the overthrow of US backed sponsored terrorism in Ukraine, where Viktor Yanukovych had to flee to Mother Russia. And we eventually saw the vote, of which there was a 90% vote, to be annexed into Russia in the Crimean Peninsula, which is another strategic waypoint in that part of the world. So the point here is. I talked about this yesterday, and I don't think people are taking it seriously enough. Venezuela is a petri dish and a case study for what to expect in America when the grid undoubtedly goes down. Now, we don't know what the severity of this grid down situation will be. It could be a total blackout across North America. It could last for days, weeks, months. If it lasts any longer than a couple of months, Experts will tell you that you will see a die-off and a overt depopulation of the human population very, very quickly. It could also be likely that this is a regional event. It could be localized in a specific city, town, part of the country, let's say East Coast or Midwest or West Coast. And I tweeted this yesterday. I don't know how much time there is left. God be with all of us at this point. Isn't it interesting that today, that's kind of the current state of the affairs, we don't really know what truth and untruth is anymore. There's information overload. So my point today, as I take you along this journey, is that I don't know how much time we have left. I, honest to God, know that we're really, really close. And we see this in Venezuela. We see this with global events. We see this with biblical disasters all across the globe, that we are living in the biblical end times today. And we are being overloaded with so much information, which has become our very vulnerability. Isn't it interesting they constructed the entire internet through DARPA, through the Department of Defense, to create an environment that's so dependent on technology that when the grid goes down, you won't even be able to pump your own gas. Think about it. They created a grid that's so dependent on technology that you can't even pump your own gas, yet alone get clean water without the system being up. Why are these events happening with increasing frequency? Why is this occurring? And what does it mean? Understand that time is of the essence. We don't have a lot of time. You don't have a lot of time to get ready. You don't have a lot of time to prepare for what we know is ahead. Now, of course, we put our faith in a higher power, but it's also important to have key preps. I talk about this all the time. Take a moment and help yourself by, number one, clicking the link below. You can get our free preparedness PDF. It's absolutely free. Enter your email, a little, little information. We've got a pyramid with different levels. This helps build confidence, especially for those of you that haven't done any prepping. You have no food or water. You have nothing. It's a free guide that will teach you everything that I know and that my crew knows in terms of getting your ducks in a row to prepare for these inevitabilities. Like what's going on in Venezuela right now, where people can't flush their toilets, don't have clean drinking water, have no food, 
Nope. Cool. Thanks, bud. Thank you. Are you prepared for the blackout? You're never gonna hear this from the mainstream media. You're never gonna hear this from a mainstream politician. The blackouts that we're seeing all across Venezuela are coming to the United States in the form of an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. It's very important that we study what's going on in Venezuela today because this US-led coup, of which we've seen many in the Middle East in recent years, whether or not this was Saddam Hussein in Iraq, or it was Muammar Gaddafi, leader of Libya, or it was countless others, we see this time and time again. And we see how the U.S. establishment is putting pressure on what they call the Maduro regime, really just the elected government, even if it is corrupt. I mean, we're corrupt here in the United States as well. The rest of the world is corrupt. They're putting pressure on his government to overthrow it, to install a puppet leader in the name of Guaido. And what if I were to tell you that the end goal here was to install a central bank Western backed that currently isn't in this part of the world to steal its oil, something John Bolton has admitted, its minerals, and then push it to what I would like to call Westernism. And of course, we've seen how well this has worked out in places like Afghanistan, places of endless war. We've also seen this in Syria with the creation of ISIS and other terrorist organizations fomented and propelled by the United States government itself to topple in their eyes, what they perceive to be regimes. What's most important about this, and what happened over the weekend, is it's a test run for what we can expect in the United States. Grocery stores being looted, people being jailed, rounded up into FEMA camps, power endlessly without it for days at a time. People don't have electricity, people are dying at local hospitals, people can't get access to medications, more importantly, food and clean water. So while I was researching this over the weekend and studying, I was really looking at it from the scenario of what it's gonna look like here in the United States. And uh, I've been prepping a lot recently in the recent days, weeks, months, and arguably years. Because we know what's coming. We, we know, in fact, Rand Corporation, a major corporation which is in bed with the US government, just did a research report. It says the United States will lose World War III. And the reason for this is they're gonna decapitate all of our communication system, our grit. So all of our sexy, amazing fighter jets and all, all this amazing technology can't operate without the internet. Russia, meanwhile, reported on this a couple weeks ago, is planning to uh, uh, operate its government without the internet. They're actually bringing down their own grid in preparation for what they know is coming. So just like Rand knows, a corporation knows, this research war giant, knows that the United States will lose to Russia and China in an upcoming war. These are things that many of you tuning in, myself, we know based on our due diligence and research that the United States as an empire truly is collapsing. And we see this in the streets of America today, middle America, where the conversation has ceased, where people are no longer willing to talk to each other. It's become this hostile environment. And this is how foreign enemies push your buttons. The United States is pushing the buttons of Venezuela by cutting the power because people begin to panic. People begin to riot. They've done studies on this for just about a couple of hours. People be in the streets, give it about eight hours based on my own research. Then we start to see the aggressive looting and the fires. You know, how did the United States, question for you, know that the grid was gonna go down? Marco Rubio tweeted, a tweet about specifics of Venezuela's electrical grid going down just minutes after it did, before Venezuelan officials even knew. Uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo has been issuing very terse statements in recent days, saying now it's electricity, next it's Maduro. So what is the interest of the United States in this region? And its interest is it doesn't want a Russian allied presence so close in North America, close to our border here in the United States. That's what this war is really about. And we've seen it through predictive programming earlier this year with Economist Magazine, its 2019 cover, in absolute darkness, blackness, because this is the year, 2019, of the electricity wars. 
This is the time to be prepared. This is the year of which nations fight against each other in this EMP world, this electromagnetic spectrum that I've spoken about uh, quite diligently in recent weeks even. You know, we need to ask ourselves as Americans, are we prepared for this? Can you survive tuning in for more than a couple of hours, if not days, weeks, and months without food, water, electricity, lights, hygiene products, medicines. You know, you start tallying up this list, and by the way, we put out for free, this is absolutely free, a free PDF. I just want to get it out to as millions of people as possible. Just click the link below. You can get our PDF. It's a cheat sheet, kind of a hit list of all the preparatory items that you need based on what we've coined and dubbed the pyramid of preparedness so that it's not overwhelming. Right? There's level one, there's level two, there's level three, there's level four and five, which makes up the pyramid of which you can begin preparing for many of you that haven't even started. I know a lot of you are prepped. A lot of you have six months food and water. You have self-defense in these kinds of things. But many of you aren't, so make sure you take advantage of that. Click the link below. And we see with self-defense how important self-defense is going to be as we see people looting goods, services, and supply lines. And this war is here. Russia knows it. China knows it. And what's interesting about it is uh, America's war machine spends up to $700 billion a year. $700 billion. It dwarfs the military budget of China and Russia and Saudi Arabia even. And so it makes us question, well, then how is the United States going to lose an upcoming war? The truth is many of the failures of past civilizations like Rome we've taken on here in the United States. Uh, pensions, upside down pyramid schemes, uh, excessive debt. All of this is a problem of central banking policies, by the way. This is why we have negative interest rates coming to the United States. We have balance. We are currently experiencing very high inflation, real inflation rates. Uh, of 10% or greater here in the United States. You see how everything's just going up. They don't really report the true numbers, but it's at least 10%. And I think we could very likely have hyperinflation as a result of this prolonged period of artificial suppression and bailouts. I mean, this is really what the United States is known for. It's, it's a country known for bailouts. It's a country known to be divided. It's a country known that doesn't secure its own borders. We still have thousands and thousands and millions of illegal immigrants pouring into our border here in Arizona. And it's all leading to a catastrophic event. Again, I bring you back to The Economist through its predictive programming, telling you that 2019 is the war on electricity. It's the electricity wars. It's a war of EMPs uh, in the electromagnetic spectrum realm. This is why uh, Donald Trump just uh, announced a through executive order and directive rather a new space program as a branch of our military. You know, all this technology that we enjoy here in the states, domination and control of the internet, comes to a grinding halt in the event that the grid goes down. None of our fighter jets can fly. None of our subs GPS systems work. Okay, so this is what Rand Corporation knows. This is why they're alerting the American public right now that this is something that you should fear. That uh, not that you shouldn't put your faith in a higher power, but that you should understand that this is fundamentally going to happen in the United States of America. The Department of Homeland Security warned late last year that you should have at least six months food and water. Most Americans missed it. And I fear. We're going to have a, this is why I prep too, a dramatic psychological shift in the general population when this big event finally hits our shores. It's another reason why self-defense, our Second Amendment, is so important because we could literally have an invasion here in the United States of America, invasion of the Chinese, invasion, look what's going on in North Korea right now with rumblings. As those negotiations have not panned out, that Donald Trump, I believe, wholeheartedly has had good intentions with. Over the weekend, it's been suggested that they're about to test fire another nuke and they're sending satellites up into space. These same satellites can decapitate our grid, can absolutely bring America to its knees overnight in an instant. 
And time is going to be of the essence. In fact, one of the reasons you want to be mentally, psychologically prepared for what we know is ahead is in the first few hours, there's going to be a lot of confusion when the lights go out, when the internet goes down. And at the very least, we're going to see this in targeted regional areas, I believe, this year in America, 2019, not in the future. You're going to see confusion. We see this with natural disasters like the tornado that just hit a week ago. Another reason you should have food and water and preps. There's going to be confusion. There's going to be disbelief. You know, people like outside with their neighbors like, hey, what's going on? How did, why did the grid go down? But then it, it very quickly and fervently moves to panic. So you want to, you're going to want to be mentally and psychologically prepared. That's first few hours, like first four or five hours or so are going to be key. That's going to be, if you can, uh, you're going to want to bug out. Some of you are going to want to bug in. Okay, you want to think about this and roadmap it with your family and friends ahead of time. When the, before the communication grid goes down, you should have rallying points with your family. They should know uh, what they should do if you've got children or wife or husband. You know, if you haven't laid out a plan yet, you're going to want to do this. And of course, it also brings me back to the Economist magazine cover once again that they switched it from the blackout to remember all those illustrations and drawings of uh, Leonardo da Vinci was the reference. I did a video on it. I encourage you to watch it as well because the Illuminati shows you what they're going to do. Okay, that's their MO. That's their mojo. They show you what they're going to do ahead of time. Just like they predictively program September 11th via the Simpsons and popular culture way in advance. In their eyes, it's their way of warning the American public. And then if the American public doesn't take action in their sinister, satanic, evil view of the world, it means it's your fair game. You're treated like a bunch of animals. You really are peasants in their eyes. And it's why we see this push to radical Marxist socialism in America. We see radical leaders like Bernie Sanders gaining steam and we see the millennial generation grappling onto this because, well, let's be honest, they just want everything for free. And I'm not saying this about everybody. I know that we have a lot of you tuning in, so I'm preaching to the choir, but there's been no hardship that America has suffered uh, since the baby boom generation up until now. A lot of these parents just gave their kids everything and didn't teach them any real world, real life tangible skills. And this is about to change not in the future, but in the immediate now. And it is so important. In fact, I had this beautiful godly day yesterday at church, singing, praising our Lord Jesus Christ. And it almost kind of got to me because I know that Jesus gives me that reprieve, gives me that reprieve so that I have the strength to come on today and warn millions of you of what I know is coming. What I've seen through divine intervention, which is the reason I stand in front of you, in front of this camera, to deliver the truth. I'm Christopher Green. Get it out everywhere. Make it viral. Please like and share this video. Millions of people deserve to see this so they're prepped. And for those that aren't awake, it's our duty, those of us that know what's coming, to prepare for our loved ones that might not just be willing to take action until it's too late. Thank you.